Thanks, Niv, and, uh, and thanks for everybody for attending this afternoon. Um, I'm going to chat to you today, obviously, about Scorpion Minerals. You know, we have been focused um, on two projects. I'm largely going to stick to the Northern Murchison today, but we have Pharos and the You and Me project in our portfolio. You and Me is an advanced lithium play that we've drilled up to a, uh, a target. Uh, we've established an exploration target of between 7.5 and 13.5 million tonnes at 1% lithium. And we're currently in discussions with potential strategic partners uh, with respect to what we're doing in the lithium space. And I'm happy to, to talk about that after the core of the presentation. At the northern end of the Murchison, which is really where, where Scorpion has been for the last decade, uh, we've been aggregating a ground position uh, just to the west of the uh, Big Bell Dalgaranga Shear Corridor. You can see that on that plan in the slide. Uh, we have a large, you know, almost 1,000 square kilometre position there. We started um, about a decade ago acquiring the Mount Mulcahy uh, Key and VMS copper deposit. We drilled that up many years ago. There's a modest uh, resource there of around 650,000 tonnes at 2.5% copper, 1.8% zinc and some cobalt, silver and gold credits. Um, and we think that's a very prospective VMS target. We then added a number of uh, gold tenements um, and explored those. And it's about two and a half years ago now that we, we started doing the gold exploration. And uh, in the last year or so, we've aggregated a bunch of ground uh, looking at uh, lithium targets in this region. So we're in a, it, it's a very well developed infrastructure wise region, um, as, as you're all probably aware. Um, there, there has been this uh, significant new discovery at Dalgaranga uh, in a similar sort of structural position to our tenement holding in the Murchison. Uh, as Corey said, this is a very prospective province. Uh, it's produced 30 to 40 million ounces of gold. Spartans never, never discovery, which was literally hundreds of metres away, or not even hundreds of metres away from an existing mine. Uh, uh, has been a very significant discovery. It's looking like it's going to be 2 million ounces plus at a very good grade. And that was really originally why we started aggregating gold ground uh, in this terrain. The area to the west of the uh, Big Bell linear is particularly unexplored. I've been exploring in this belt since the early 80s with companies like Homestake and Sons of Wiley are in a number of these areas. And this particular area attracted us because the historic exploration has been relatively low. So uh, I think we'll go on to the next slide, please. This is just a diagram zooming in on our on our tenements. It's showing the various commodity domains, you know, that we've currently identified within the, the, uh, the tenements. Uh, there are multiple gold targets been identified. These are all sitting on what we think are northwest structural splays off the Big Bell uh, linear. Uh, similar kinds of structures control many other deposits in the Murchison um, belt. And you know, over the many years that we've been exploring here, we've developed a sort of understanding of the distribution and possibly what locates these deposits. So this has been the reason for picking up a lot of these tenements, uh, the underlying stratigraphy is particularly prospective. We have several targets uh, within the gold areas. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Mount Mulcahy Copper Prospect um, sits on the eastern side of our tenement package. There's 13 and a half kilometre long target zone there, prospective for VMS copper targets or repetitions of the existing mineralisation. There's 20 undrilled EM targets uh, along that stratigraphy and uh, we're very keen to advance that uh, target as well. And then of course, uh, the lithium corridor through the Puna um, targets uh, runs around the granite contact at the southern end of the project area. And we're very early days here in evaluating the distribution of the LCT pegmatites in this corridor and potential for further lithium discovery. So we're very fortunate with this project that um, within the one project, we have exposure to a number of different commodities. 
Um, there's some significant uh, mineralization been identified as far as the gold and the copper and the lithium concerned. And this is an area that we, along with you and me, we have focused on. So we're pretty focused um, uh, our efforts in, in this particular area. Now go to the next slide, please. This is just a bit of detail now about the gold targets. Um, we, we picked up the, the, a bunch of tenements here that were prospective for gold about three or four years ago. We aggregated all of the historic data that we could get our hands on. That was mapping, geochemistry, drilling. We purchased a large uh, aeromagnetic data set and we had all of the air magnetics uh, reprocessed so we could interpret the structures and the controlling features on the gold on the gold mineralization and you know what we found was that there had been a number of very significant historic um, drill targets established in our view based on the interpretations historically they weren't drilled optimally we don't think that the Previous drilling has really targeted the primary structures that are mineralized, but nonetheless, there's been some significant results you can see there at places like uh, Oliver's uh, patch. We've got 16 metres at three, seven metres at eight grams, uh, five metres at eight uh, at one end of it. But these are relatively wide space programs, as is the Ulysses, the Mustang Sally and the Laterite Hill targets. We have a number of gold targets around the Mount Mulcahy syncline, which are unrelated to the copper VMS, but are in structural positions that we believe are standalone gold targets. So we're working our way through uh, all of this data. We're coming up with an exploration plan and model. We'll be publishing some information on this soon. Uh, what we want to try and do here is a more systematic approach, looking at the geology, expanding the geochemistry into a more systematic level playing field. There's been a dozen or so different operators here historically. They've all used different techniques. They've all used different analytical um, processes. And, uh, you know, we're trying to sort of standardise the way we're going about um, exploring this area. So we've got a, a mixture of advanced targets that we can go and drill and uh, large areas where we'll complete geochemistry to identify new targets adjacent to these, these structures coming off the Big Bell Shear. So that's really the, the summary of where we're at. You know, we're very, um, we're very bullish about this ground position. We're very encouraged by the, the work at Spartan. I'm particularly, you know, have a bit of pride there because they're some of our old Northern Star alumni that are now running, you know, Spartan and they've done a terrific job and, you know, I think as Corey pointed out, you know, it just shows what's still left in these regions to be discovered. Uh, I think the industry has gone a long time without, uh, you know, one of these one or two or three million ounce discoveries. And I think there's plenty more of them in mm. the Murchison in some of these other Archean greenstones belts where the exploration historically has been, you know, less intense. Michael, great presentation. Um, just running sort of short of time, but just just kicking off. I mean, what what are you most excited about out of all the projects? And um, just from a capital management perspective, what are you doing at the moment in in a tough market? Look, from the capital side, we're progressing the strategic partnership discussions. You know, we think that's a way of getting ourselves funded. We've put a lot of effort in the last few years into lithium. Happy to answer some questions on that specifically if there are any. Um, what I like the most at the moment, well, look, I like the lithium market. I think it will improve, but I think it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm really a gold, you know, most of my career has been in gold and rare metals. Obviously, I'm a bit of a a gold bull and I really enjoy the gold exploration. I've spent many years, you know, looking at these sorts of terrains, uh, but I'm also confident in the copper. So look, for me right now, I, I, we're going to be pushing the gold pretty hard. We're going to think long and hard about what to do with uh, Mount Mulcahy. You know, deep drilling for VMS targets and conductors is an expensive business. And, you know, one consideration is, can we find some some partners? And we have had groups approach us to farm into things like Mount Mulcahy in the past. Hmm. 